Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Osada. This is by Rajet Gplay. This is 290.52 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, I'm going to read the description off here and then we'll go ahead and jump into it. So it says, welcome to Osada, a map inspired by the eastern part of Europe uh, with small and medium sized fields. On the map, you'll find such attractions as two farms, smaller cows and bigger pigs. Um, a place to build your own farm, one village with a small farm, three grain markets, including one of your own train. There might be a translation issue. Uh, 50 toys to find, such collectibles on here. Uh, new textures for grass, trees, bushes, and terrain painting. Swamp forests, 100 farmlands, uh, 79 fields, including meadows. Uh, bakery, combined heat and power plant, mill, sawmill next to the big forest. Uh, an apiary with bees, a gravel pit, purchase of stones and limes. Uh, machine dealer, uh, it's Zeter branded, livestock dealer, dairy, vegetable collection point, and carpenter. It says info, the map will be enlarged in newer versions. Now, what do they mean by that? Well, if we actually open up the uh, the menu here, you can see we're limited to kind of this little, this this range around here. But all of this, I'm, or some of it at least, I'm assuming is going to be expanded out. And if you actually go on the mod hub, there's a good highlighted version of what you can have access to now. But on the map here, we have kind of our starting farm here on new farm mode, field 30 in this chunk of land here. Um, that's what we start off owning, but you can see where kind of the edge is for us today. Um, I may do a tour when it expands. Probably not, though, because I, most because I just won't remember. But uh, anyhow, you can buy pretty much every chunk of land on here, it looks like. That's at least within our purview. Uh, but anyhow, so yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. We have a train here to send to stuff to Colonia, Goldcrest Valley as well. We can rent the train there. Um, or no, that is Gold Goldcrest Valley cell point. Is that a cell point? I'm assuming it's got to be. Uh, we have the sawmill on here, all sorts of stuff, lime station, debris crusher. We got the vehicle shop down there. Um, there's a honey point there, or honey cell point, I should say. Uh, dairy there. I'm assuming this is probably the apiary with uh, the bees, but we'll check it all out. So, yeah, there's actually quite a bit of stuff on this uh more even though it's a little bit more compact of a map it's, there's quite a bit of stuff going on so we're going to walk around we'll take a look at this since we're right here uh, we're going to walk around this chunk of land here then we're going to hop in a vehicle and probably head north first and then we'll head back down uh south around we'll maybe head out the outside so we'll head up over here um then i don't know we'll find it we'll find a path we'll do what we need to do so let's go ahead and take a look here uh, well actually first off let's take a look at our starting equipment here Small tractors, we have a Zeter, uh, Major ZL80, and the Zeter Z25K, which I think is awesome. We have the Rossa Mesh Nova 330. We have a Lizard Pickup 1986. We have a trailer, header for a Rossa Mesh. We have a small plow, small cultivator, small cedar, and we have a small baler, which is pretty sweet. And I guess while I was in here, I don't, know, I don't know what's up with me today. I need to go through my normal stuff for maps. We start off with $100,000 new fire mode. We have a pig pasture to cow barn starting out. There are contracts in the fields you don't own. We don't own any production points, and again, that says, I said there's 50 toys in the uh, mod hub, right? Yeah, 50 toys. Fine. This says there's 100 collectibles, so I'm not sure which one it's going to be. Or maybe there's 50 toys and 50 other collectibles. So um, there you go. But we'll go ahead and scroll through the prices real quick. I'm going to grab a drink of coffee because I'm just waking up. So fantastic. Coffee getting me woke. I just spilled a little on me. That's fine, though. But yep, got to get some coffee in the morning. That gets me going. That's why my brain is all scattered. And I'm trying to get into the as I'm trying to get into the flow of things this morning, but uh, we're gonna make it all work. Not the honey, yeah, the the pull honey set is like a honey cell point. That was the one thing I was curious about. But yeah, there's everything as far as uh, where everything is sold at. Everything goes. Some places don't have cell points or like that. There's a stone there at the end with the debris crusher. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our starting farm. I'm assuming this opens. I guess I don't have to jump everything. Yep, opens up. We're just around this corner here. We've got some sheds. There's a truck in there. There's our Zeter. I've never actually driven this baby around, so. Gosh, I love how long it takes to start. That's awesome. Anyhow, it's cool. I like it. I'm glad it's on here. Um, there's a ladder there. Hmm, interesting. That might be a hint hint for someone. Ooh, this is kind of interesting how those kind of like that set up there. This might be a shed already out in the mod hub, but I just haven't seen it. This opens up here. Beautiful. Lots of little shed space in there. Lots of storage space through this farm. That is for sure. That one doesn't open up, it looks like. These look like they're... Are these drive through Yeah, these don't open. So these look like they're drive through Yep. Sorry, the other side there. We have drive through out here. We have a silo out here on this side. We got some more of our equipment parked out here. And this is our... Or no, that's not our field. That's field. This is our field over here. 31. That is not our field right here. 
but pretty easy access to it. If we go back down this way, it's kind of the edge of our property. This looks like our, is that our pigs? Cows right there, 30 cows for us. Like the little cow pasture there, cows are sitting in there. We have a sleep trigger here. And then we should have, where are our pigs at? Are they on? This far, they're probably on a different farm is what they're on. Yeah, pigs up there, it looks like. Yeah, so we don't own that land, but the pigs pasture up there we do own. So yeah, that's pretty much everything on this farm as far as, yeah, we've taken a look at everything over here. Uh, let's walk down to the animal dealer just because it's literally right up the road. And then we'll continue from there. So right here, we have a cell point here. This is the carpentry production point, actually. Which, does it, does it take stuff? It looks like they're going to take wood as a kind of a selling deal here. Is this... Yep, sell woods. So there's a wood sell point there at that carpentry point, which I think is normal for carpentry points. I've never done a lot of carpentry, as you can tell. Uh, animal dealer up here, pig pastor, and all that good stuff. Um, so all that looks good. Um, let's go ahead and I'm just going to tab over to our truck, because this is what we are going to head out in. Well, we're already off to a great start. <laughs> good creepy. It's going to be one of those days, folks. I can feel it already. Oh, we're going to take a right to head up this way. The animal dealer was to our left there. It looks like a really uh, well done map, to be honest with you guys. Uh, right here on the right hand side, we have our first cell point. And that up here. Bakery and production point as well, I suppose I should say. But I like that the production points and stuff are custom um, buildings and stuff like that. It kind of makes it all look a lot better, which is pretty cool. So I like to see that. And on our left up in there, we do have fuel triggers. So this is like one of our farms that we have available to buy. This is for 19,000. I'm actually gonna buy the farms as we go through, if I remember, just to make sure we're not missing any triggers or anything that are on there. But, and you know what? Let's get out and just walk up there real quick. It's not gonna take us more than a half a second. So gate can open there. I'm just gonna jump it to save time. Fuel point here. This open up. Oh, just a big old chunk of nothing in your space there. We do own this land, might I add. We just bought it. What in the world? Maybe this isn't really a good farm setup. I'm not open to getting the ability to open up any of these uh, sheds. Interesting. I wonder, you might have to save and load back in or something odd like that, but that is very odd that none of those will open up and it's kind of set up to be, oh, maybe it's not your farm. Maybe it's this guy's farm. He just you walks through the gates. You can open the gate though, so. Anyhow, holy smokes, I'm getting traffic backed up out here. All right, let's continue on the tour, regardless of whether or not that's a farm or not. Looks like it would kind of be a farm. I don't know why you want a fuel pump, a fuel point up there. Otherwise, have the top of this hill. We got a couple things up here on the right. Set my coffee down. If I turn my coffee heat warmer off. Don't want to do that. All right, so right now we got a couple cell points right here. We have the South Valley Biomass Energy and then the Transpole. So Transpole's right there, South Valley Biomass Energy. South, I can't, South Valley Biomass Energy. It's on the other side of that building right there. Uh, but there you go. And then we do have a little pond up here, which I think is pretty sweet. Um, and I'm going to try to cut across the terrain here. Ooh, this is a narrow bridge. This is a narrow bridge there. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and if you can look down over this way. So we've, we've started here, we looked around here, we went up this way. I'm gonna cut up over to here. And that way we can kind of, yeah, that's about what I need to do. That way we can kind of cut back down here. And then um, I'm gonna take this turn and go up here. And then we're gonna head down this side of the map because that'll get us down closer to all the stuff we need to look at over here. So yeah, we're just gonna cut, uh, from where we're at, we're just gonna cut kind of straight across here. And my understanding is this is the edge of the map, as in we can't go... I don't know if we can get into these fields or not. We'll try it. Well, we can get up here. Interesting. Uh, you can't buy those fields, though, so you can't really do anything with them, but you can get to them. And then here we are. What have we got going on right over here? We've got large greenhouse cell point. Now, we can buy a lot of this stuff on here, so I am curious. Are there any greenhouses? No, nothing like that. Okay, well, it would be kind of cool if we could bring them stuff and get some greenhouses going. I like that there's people walking through the greenhouses, though. That's kind of a nice uh, added feature there, added effect. Jeez, hit the dumpster there. Sorry. All right, we'll travel down this way. 
Sorry, it's a little hard to get a good angle with the trees everywhere. But on the right here, open up here is definitely a farm. So we got our pig pasture, our farmhouse, and we have a silo. So let's go ahead and we'll just run around this bad boy quick. These allow us to open them up even though we don't own the land, which is kind of nice. So all these things will open up here for you. We got our pigs over here. Let's see how many pigs will take. 100 pigs. So you can get a lot of pigs going here. What was this sign? Interesting. I can't read any of it, but there it is. Something about farm sim and all that good stuff. And there's your silo back there. But yeah, good looking farm. So as we continue down, we're going to curve a left here. And then we're going to head over and take a look at the grain mill and the mill transport at the very end there. All right, head up this way. I do like, I mean, it's a really good looking map. There's a lot of good detail on it and stuff like that. So I am, oh gosh, I did not expect you to turn that way. We just T-boned the daylights out of that poor car. Yeah, that would have been a, that would have been real life. That would have been a bad crash. That car would have rolled, especially if I hit him at 70. We'd all probably be dead from that one. They'd definitely be dead though. We might've lived. So I mean, so, I mean a lot of you guys know that my, Oh, this is not a road. This is a train track. We're going to go back up over to the road. We should have turned there anyways. That's what he's trying to tell us. A lot of you guys know that my full-time job is as a police officer, and one of my specialties is uh, collision investigation. So it's funny with how many times I crash that that would be one of my specialties. <laughs> uh, right here on the right, we have the mill trans and, again, the grain mill point in there. Okay. So I think the best way to get about this, I think, is to just, uh, since that's a train track down at that side, we're going to take that little forestry track that kind of goes through. Oh, gosh, I'm just getting ahead on looking at the. And someone did say, and they are absolutely right about this. They did say, hey, you know, you can turn off the AI traffic. It might make your life a little bit easier. You are 100 percent right. But what would it be without what would these map tours be without me crashing into every other car that's on the road? There, it says there's like a. Well, there it is that up that it up right there. There's the path up there. We're just a little bit off of it here. So it kind of looked like it was it was like right there on the map, but no, we we're a little bit off. This guy right here. We are going to just go ahead and zoom right in so we can get through here. We're just basically going through here to drive through here just to use it as a path. But I really like the forest area, and I don't always uh, drive through the forest areas on my map tour. So it's kind of nifty to see that. But again, you can see there's a ton of detail. This feels like a real landscape you're driving through. And even in the forest here, you almost feel like you're in a different world compared to the rest of the map which is a really cool feature, I think. We'll head out here, and then we're going to curve a quick left. Because we've got all this right here. So right here where we're at, zoom back out for us. Uh, so again, we were here, we went back down around, took this forestry trek down this way, and now we're out here. So on the left, we have Goldcrest Valley, and then Goldcrest Valley for the train, um, as well as uh, Colonia. So I'm a I don't think Goldcrest Valley was a sell point, was it? Let's go to a very common crop. Yeah, Colonia it looks like is one, but not Goldcrest Val Valley. Why is that? Is that just why it's it's just named that? It's just interesting. Anyhow, I'm not sure why it's named that, but there you go. It almost looks like it's like a... If you look here, that would be the indicator of a sell point. It almost looks like it's like a silo type setup, which would make sense if it's on the track. I just don't know why it's labeled Goldcrest Valley. But anyhow, as we continue up on the right-hand side here, it looks like we got ourselves a big old sawmill. I would say that's an accurate assumption here. Yep, uh, sawmill, and then we have the uh, Meb Meblomex cell point right there. And then as we continue down, Colonial is right there. That's where the train is gonna go to sell, sell stuff for you. So I think we're gonna keep looping down this track. Looks like it heads up here. And then from there, hmm, we'll actually curve up so we can pass by the debris crush and lime station and then head up here and then we'll take a look at the last couple of things so that's what we'll do here and then we'll do a quick flyover i'm actually hitting most of the stuff on uh, the ground here which i normally don't do as much driving as oh is that the edge of the map right there that is well we're not going to head that way then we're just going to cut across these fields back over to a road since we can't head all the way down here Yep, we're just going to hop right back on this road, and then we'll basically be where we said we wanted to be. We just didn't take the long way, if that makes sense. Look at that, Corey. I really like the look of that. That looks fantastic. 
Look at that setup there. That looks phenomenal. So lime station there, and then you got your debris crusher in there somewhere. Where's the debris crusher? Is it in the far side of that? It's more towards the middle. It's yeah, it's right behind those trees, and I'm I'm hiding it right there. Yeah, I can see it right through those trees in there. Fantastic. Well, that's a cool little setup there. I like that. As we continue up, we'll go past all this stuff here. Around the corner here. That's a really nice church. I like that. I like having that on the map. Big old church compound there. I like it. Now we're going to drive... Oh gosh, I hit that car. We're going to drive straight here. Go take a look at this production point, And then we're going to drive down to the shop and finish up there. Because if you look, that's basically what we have left. As far as the drive through goes. And down here we have a production point. We have the dairy production point. So we're just going to use their driveway to do a quick UE and crash a little bit. Thankfully that thing fence didn't have a very good collision on it. And then we're just going to curve right up here because this is going to take us up towards the shop point. There are quite a few hills on here. Like it kind of lends itself that there wouldn't be a lot, but there are a lot on here. And then... Boom, here we go. And this might be the, uh, this might be kind of the build your own farm area, it looks like right here, right across the street. That's kind of nice, right next to the farm. I do like it's a Zeter dealer. We don't see that very often. Got our repair point. That doesn't seem to open up there in a shop there. So beautiful. Let's go ahead and do our flyover this bad boy. So again, you can see that they're going to expand this map quite a bit, but right now we're, we're pretty much limited to right down to here. Um, we got our dairy down there, and this, I'm guessing, is where all the beehives are at. That's the one thing we didn't take a look at. Trees are kind of spazzing in the distance there. I don't see it. This has got to be it, though. This has got to be it. There's no way it's not it. How much is this thing to buy? Um, 111000 Let's go ahead and add some money in real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and... We'll see if it, any beehives show up when you buy it. No, no beehives. Maybe it's just designed to have beehives, but I don't see any beehives around here. It could just be hidden better than that, but... Anyhow, that would be a good spot for them, though. It just kind of seems right. But yeah, okay. As we're heading up here... Here's that cell point I told you is behind the building that I couldn't pronounce. The South Valley Biomass. And then we have the... Uh, uh, what is it called? The pole something? Something pole? Transpole? There we go. Transpole. So I'll point there. As we head down this road, we have what might be a farm. Probably not, because they wouldn't let me get into anything. And then as we head further down, we have uh, this guy right here, which is going to be our bakery, which is fantastic. And then we head further down the road, if we get to our actual starting farm that lets us do stuff at this farm right here, which is a pretty nice little farm, actually. There's actually more space in there than I kind of seems like you might have. And then you have... Do you own that area back there? Yeah, it's part of your cows, I'm assuming. This pasture, yeah, it looks like they're pasture... Something you can use as a pastor, but anyhow, you might be able to do whatever you want with it, actually. Because the cows seem like they're pretty locked up into there. I'm sure you can probably, uh... I'm sure you can probably delete these fences if you wanted to. Oh, maybe not. Well, I spoke too soon. I'm having troubles deleting those fences, so maybe not. Anyhow. Um, okay. What else do we need to see here? We need to go back. We started at the shop. Let's go back down. We'll cross. We'll crisscross here. Let's go. Let's go further down. We got our nice little beautiful church right here. And then we got our quarry point next to the water here, which just really looks fantastic. And there's the debris crusher there. I like how they kind of fit that into what they got going on here, which I think it looks. This all just looks fantastic down here. It's a very well done quarry. So well done. And then you got your lime point over here, which is great. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And then if we look at the map, we need to keep going. Yeah, we just need to go across now. So across over here, I just keep... It's hard with this map because you keep wanting to go further, but the map is not built out there yet. And then here we have our sawmill point, and then we have Goldcrest Valley, which goes to uh, Colonial, which is that cell point right there. But here's the beautiful 100-acre forest we've won over real quick here. Sorry, a little bit of a Winnie the Pooh reference, a little odd for me. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Uh, and as we continue up here, we have the grain mill right here beautiful and if we go across the map here we have our pig farm right down here with another farmhouse and a silo and then we have a large greenhouse right there which is a pretty spiffy looking cell point if i'm to be honest with you and i really like that there was well, at least there were people 
walking through it, but there were people walking through it. Uh, anyhow, and then going up to here, that's where we're at with the biomass. That's pretty much the whole map. There you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the map tour that is. If you guys have, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.